In this video, we'll use Le Chatelier's principle to predict how this reaction will shift if we change the temperature. So remember that this reaction is exothermic, meaning that we have to add heat as a product. So how will the addition of heat shift the reaction? Recall that Le Chatelier's principle states that if a stress is applied to a system, the system will relieve the stress. So if the stress is adding heat, how will it relieve the stress? Well, if we add more heat, the reaction will shift to the left to reduce the amount of heat. Because every time we make products, we make heat because heat can be viewed as one of the products. So the way that we can make less heat is by making less products and in fact making more reactants. So the reaction shifts to the left. So just treat heat as you would any product or reactant. There's nothing special going on here. The removal of heat. Well, if we remove heat, the reaction will, will shift to make more heat. And the way the reaction makes more heat is by making more products. So the reaction should shift to the right. Let's look at one more reaction. This time, the reaction we're looking at has a positive value for delta H. So that means the reaction is endothermic. That means heat is added, or heat has to be supplied. So if heat has to be supplied, we can consider heat as a reactant. So let's add heat to the left side of the equation. So how will the addition of heat shift this reaction? Well, if we add more heat, that should shift the reaction to the right. Conversely, if we remove heat, that's taking away this heat right here. The way that the reaction relieves that is by making more heat. And the way the reaction makes more heat is by shifting to the left. So once again, just treat heat as if it's a reactant or a product. If heat is a reactant, that means the reaction is endothermic. If heat is a product, that means the reaction is exothermic.